Hello everybody, this is Mr. Wilson in the Carter High School Counseling Department, and today I am going to teach you guys about the California State Diploma Seals, and we're going to talk about what exactly these are. So when we say diploma seal, what, what does that mean? No, it doesn't mean that kind of seal. A diploma seal is actually a uh, level of distinction that we are able to physically put on your official high school graduation diploma when you graduate at the end of four years. So the state of California uh, provides three different levels of distinction that you can earn on your diploma. And these are actual physical little gold stickers that we can put on your diploma. And then our district will actually, uh, if you earn any of these, they will give you graduation regalia that you can wear with your cap and gown when you graduate that usually looks like a medallion that you wear around your neck. So the state of California has three different diploma seals that you can earn. The Golden State Seal Merit Diploma, the California State Seal of Biliteracy, and the California State Seal of Civic Engagement. So what the heck are these? What do you need to do in order to earn these things if you want them on your diploma? Well, first off, each one of these seals has certain criteria that you have to meet in order to show that you've demonstrated mastery, proficiency, or excellence in these three areas. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to break each one of these down. If you have questions about this later, all of this information is actually on the Carter High School website. If you go to the homepage and go to the student drop down and go to California State Diploma Seals, it's all there along with who you can contact if you've got questions. But let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and start with the Golden State Seal Merit Diploma. So if you want this, um, you have to actually demonstrate mastery of the high school curriculum in at least six six subject areas while you're here at Carter High School. So what does this look like? Well, first off, I will tell you this is the most earned uh, merit seal that we uh, that we see graduates earn. Last year we had well over 150 graduates that earned the seal. What you have to do is in English you have to get a grade of an A or a B if you're an honors or an AP ca uh, class for the single course. So that means both semesters for the entire year, either 9, 10, or 11, or in 11th grade when you take the CASP, you have to score standard met on the English portion of that. For math, same kind of an idea. You need a grade of an A or a B if you're an honors or AP in a single course all year long, both semesters, either grade 9, 10, or 11, or again, when you take the CASP in 11th grade, if you get standard met on the math portion, this that will meet this requirement as well. For science, you need a grade of A or a B, and if you're an honors or AP, in a single course, both semesters, again, grade 9, 10, or 11, or if you choose to take an AP science exam uh, your, uh, or a class your, your junior year, like AP physics, if you pass that exam with a three or higher, that will work to meet this requirement as well. For U.S. history, which is the history class that you take in 11th grade, you need a grade of a, at least a B or a C if you're in AP U.S. in the single course for both semesters in grade 9, 10, or 11. But again, this is a class you take in 11th grade. Or if you, uh, if you take the AP U.S. history exam and you earn a three or higher on that, that will meet this requirement as well. And then the last one is you need two other subject areas. So that could be English, math, science, U.S. history, or other subject areas where you get at least of a grade of a B for the entire year-long course. Okay, so all six of these subject areas, um, again, this has to be... Uh, by the end of, a, of, of junior year, because we calculate this during senior year, and you'll earn the Golden State Seal Merit Diploma. Okay. If you have questions about this one, you can talk to your counselor and they can look at your transcript with you and help you uh, recognize whether or not you're on track for this. The second seal that we want to talk about is probably the one that is most well known here at Carter High School. We also have a lot of students that do this one as well, and that is the California State Seal of Biliteracy. This is looking to recognize graduates who have demonstrated proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. So firstly, we need to point out that you actually have to show proficiency in English to get this. So you might be an awesome Spanish speaker and, uh, and even pass the AP Spanish exam. But if you don't do well in your English courses and show proficiency in English, you won't be able to earn this because, again, it's biliteracy, which is two different uh, languages that you are literate in. So in order to show proficiency in English, 
you need a 2.0 GPA in all of your English classes or ELD courses toward graduation. And in 11th grade, when you take the CASP, you need to score standard met on the English portion of that exam. You also uh, can get standard met on the iReady reading for the 11th grade, but it's my understanding at Carter High School that this is not something we typically do. So again, we need to do well on that CASP English portion 11th grade, okay? To show proficiency in your language other than English, an AP exam score with a three or higher will do that. So if you take the AP Spanish 4 exam and you pass it with a three or higher, you're good to go. Or you can successfully complete the equivalent of a four-year high school course of study in this language and get a 3.0 in that course of study and then demonstrate oral mastery of the target language through the Avant listening and speaking assessment. You have to get a five or higher on that. And that's a test that we give here at Carter High School. For our seniors this year, we've already actually given a lot of our students that Avant test to, uh, to try and show that they've got that mastery. Or you can just take the Avant language test and show that you already know a foreign language. Like I've had a couple students in the past who speak a foreign language that we don't teach here at Carter High School. And you can, if there is an Avant language test for that and you let your counselor know, you can actually challenge that Avant language test. And uh, if you pass it again with a five or higher in all of the different uh, subject areas for that test, you, um, you will show proficiency in that language. Also want to note that if you are an English learner, you also must earn an overall score of a four or higher on the LPAC. The last seal that we want to talk about today is the State Seal of Civic Engagement. This is the newest seal and probably the most confusing because it's new. The purpose of this seal is to recognize graduates who have demonstrated excellence in civics education and participation in civic engagement. So first off, if you've never heard of civics, civics is uh, is a synonym for uh, for government. So, as a senior here at Carter High School, you will take an American government class that is typically a semester long, unless you're doing AP government, which will be a year long course. And uh, and during that time, you will learn what civic engagement looks like. So, in order to get this seal. You have to show excellence in civics education, which means a 2.0 weighted overall GPA or meet your IEP goals if you have one of those and earn a C or better in U.S. history or the equivalent course if you're taking AP U.S. Or, uh, or government or the equivalent course, which would be AP government or AP macroeconomics if you're taking that instead of government, okay? To show uh, participation in civic engagement, you will need to participate in and provide evidence in one or more civic engagement projects that address a real world problem or civic need. Evidence could include signed volunteer timesheets or photos of you participating in the event, and you will also have to complete a self-reflection of the process that could look like an essay or a video or audio files. Um, you'll also need to uh, to verify your, that you have a civic mindset, a letter of recommendation that somebody writes for you that speaks to civic mindedness and commitment to positive impacts in the classroom, school, community, or society. Now, I know this sounds really confusing and you might be thinking to yourself, how on earth am I going to do any of this stuff? Well, many of our government teachers here at Carter High School actually build this into their curriculum for what they do in the class. So senior year, when you are taking a government class, if you are interested in earning the state seal of civic engagement, absolutely talk to your government teacher and see if there's anything that's going to be happening in that class that will help you meet these requirements. If they are not, you can uh, you can actually reach out to Dr. Simmons. She is our um, social studies department chair. She's in C212 and she would be more than happy to help you earn this uh, state seal for civic engagement. Okay, so those are all three of our state seals. Really appreciate you guys paying attention. I know that was a lot of information. What we're going to ask you to do on the next slide is to use your phone to answer some questions on a Google form. So just you'll scan the QR code and, and tell us what you learned. And again, guys, we appreciate it. We're looking forward to seeing all of these seals on your diploma when you graduate. Thank you.